Services were announced today for Caleb Ogilvy. He's the Covington police officer killed in the line of duty this week. Friends are invited to pay their respects tomorrow from 4 to 6 and Friday from 2 to 6 at Nicely Funeral Home in Clifton Forge. Now his funeral is set for Saturday at the Convocation Center at Dabney S. Lancaster Community College, which is also in Clifton Forge. That funeral starts at noon. Now, as people honor his life, they're also honoring the life of another victim killed the same night as Officer Ogilvy. I'm talking about 64 year old Randall Paxton. WFXR's Rian Lowndes spoke with Paxton's friends today. She joins us now live from Covington with what they're saying about him. Rian, good evening. Good evening, Kathleen. Today I spoke with the community of Covington and friends of Randy Paxton. He was an employee at Covington Farm and Fuel where the shooting happened on Monday, but his friends say he was also a horse lover and well known in the local trucking community. A friend of the family I spoke to said Paxton was a kind, loving soul who would do anything for anyone and say hello to everyone. I also spoke to the owner at Covington Farm and Fuel. He's known Paxton for 65 years. This community will miss him, I will miss him, and most of all, his wife is going to miss him very much. Tingler says there's been overwhelming outreach from the community as people are calling to ask how they can help Paxton's wife at this time. The store is taking donations for Paxton's wife right now, both in person and over the phone. You can find more information about that on our website, WFXRTV.com. But Tingler says people are donating anything from money to flowers to cards. Live in Covington, Rian Lowndes, WFXR News.